screening by functional complementation. Complementation, it is a process in which we can compensate the missing function of a particular cell or bacteria so that the wild type phenotype it is restored and this process where we are going to restore the wild type phenotype it is called as functional uh, complementation and this process it has also been used to screen uh, specific target clones and this uh, procedure of functional complementation was used in late 1990s by different workers. Uh, for example, first time functional complementation uh, was used by using eukaryotic DNA where it has complemented uh, the function of uh, auxotrophic E. coli. Now, auxotrophic means that uh, uh, it is a process in which uh, a particular function of the gene it is lost so that the cell is no longer able to prepare particular organic molecule which is required for its normal growth so it is also called as auxotrophy so auxotrophy hum us situation ko keh sakte hain jahan koi organism jo hai kisi khas organic compound ko produce nahi kar pata और ये जो ऑर्गेनिक कंपाउंड है ये इसकी ग्रोथ के लिए जरूरी होता है तो जहां जो फर्स्ट टाइम कॉम्प्लीमेंटेशन प्रोसेस को यूज किया गया जैसे मैंने कहा 1990s में तो इसमें एक ऐसा इकोलाई ऑक्सोट्रोफ यूज किया गया दैट वाज अनएबल टू प्रोड्यूस अ अमीनो एसिड व्हिच इज लाइक हिस्टाडीन सो इकोलाई म्यूटेंट्स वर नॉट एबल टू प्रोड्यूस हिस्टाडीन सो बाय यूजिंग uh, sequences from the eukaryotes like the yeast uh, that produce histidine molecule they were used to complement uh, the function of that gene in E. coli so uh, the library was construct uh, constructed by using uh, different clones from the yeast cell that also contain the gene for histidine biosynthesis and then the recombinant molecule or vector that contain a histidine biosynthesis gene it was used to transform auxotrophic E. coli when it was in, uh, introduced then the screening was carried out that uh, which cell uh, contain the recombinant molecule and have the ability to grow on a minimal medium because E. coli cells can then only be able to grow on a minimal medium when it has the ability to produce histidine so this is uh, one of the first example where functional complementation was used to restore the wild type phenotype in case of his b mutant e coli so that now it is able to produce histidine uh, in the presence of recombinant molecules that contain uh, histidine biosynthesis gene from yeast cell In addition to microorganisms like the E. coli, functional complementation it can also be used to restore lost functions in case of higher organisms uh, like plants or animals. Again, I can quote one of the example where uh, the gene that uh, mediate the process of deafness in mice, like the Shaker 2 gene, uh, it was replaced or restored by functional complementation. So Shaker 2 gene, it control the deafness uh, in mice. And uh, here, uh, the wild type genotype, it was uh, constructed by using bacterial artificial chromosomes. Uh, and then it was injected to in the eggs of mice that contain Shaker 2 mutations that control the deafness so that the normal phenotype which have which contain normal hearing it is restored this diagram it indicated uh, the the process of complementation to restore the shaker to mutations in mice now what we can do in this process that from the wild type mouse that have 
normal hearing the genomic dna it can be extracted and then it can be digested with appropriate restriction enzyme and then it can be ligated with bacterial artificial chromosomes and then it can be further screened for back clones that contain the wild type phenotype that can be restored uh, in mutant mice so here the back clones it can be injected with homozygous shaker 2x that are mutated and after injection then the mice can be grown from these eggs and then the presence of normal hearing it can be screened and here it is the normal mice and then it can be subjected to further screening uh, later on so these are the different screening strategies that can be used to screen either genomic or cdna libraries and even their expression products so overall we have discussed that screening it may be on the base of the presence of vectors or even the hybridization uh, techniques that uh, may be sequence dependent they can be used by using uh, specific primers or the probes uh, in case of hybridization dependent screening in addition to that the screening may be based on chromosome walking, chromosome jumping, uh, and later on we discuss that how the expression libraries can be screened by using uh, immunological methods, southwestern or northwestern uh, method, and how we can perform functional complementation.